Cubs get their first sack of the day. Hit from behind as he rolls to his right. Guess who got him? William Golston got him again. Dave with a play fake, being pressured. William Golston's got it, rides him down. Second down, three. Offset eye left, but they run Monte. Ball to the right, and he'll be spilled for a loss. William Golston and Marcus rush those booking defensive ends, knock him down for a three-yard loss. Unbalanced line to the left. They'll run it to the left with ball. Besides, he might want to cut it back to the right. There's nowhere to go. In the pistol for Ohio State. The handoff to Hall, and he spun down for a long. Big play by Wilson. Play fakes, rolls to his right. He's hit in the end zone. Safety time. Rack up a safety for the Spartans. Down goes Kane Coulter, Max Bulla, and William Golston complete the safety for the Spartans. So we're here live at Southfield High School for the Sign Mom Sign Body Camp. Standing here with Will Golston. Hey man, just tell me, you come all the way from Tampa, man, to talk to these kids. What is your true meaning, man? What are you trying to get across to these kids over here? It's really just trying to help. You know, uh, just having a positive influence in somebody's life really changed and make a difference in all these kids. You know, I had the opportunity to be here for three years, and everybody that came and talked back to us, you know, when, in my class when I came, I really appreciated it and it helped me out and it stuck with me. So even if I only change or help one person in this camp, that's good enough for me. So kind of elaborate, man. How was college, man? Tell me about your college experience. How was Michigan State, man? Uh, Michigan State was one of the main reasons and vocal points on why I am who I am today because the coaching staff, all the players, and the whole environment really shaped me to be the man that I am. Uh, and it was really appreciated. I had fun at times, but it was really preparing me to be the man that I am right now. Well, I know you went up to Michigan State, man, and played as a true freshman, man, all the way from Detroit, from Southeastern High School. How does it feel to put on for your city of Detroit? Feel great, you know. I love my city. I know. I even got, you know, I got Detroit tatted on my chest. That way, we always moving forward. You know, never looking back. We always going forward. Okay, so you're a rookie going to Tampa Bay Buccaneers. What are some things that you need to work on to be ready for the NFL season? Just the whole mental aspect of the game. Um, once you slow the game out mentally. Everything comes into play, and that's what I've been learning uh, with the OTAs and the rookie mini camp that I've been going to. Understanding the plays and slowing it down mentally has really helped me perform better. So, so I know you're a leader, man. You led your southeastern team. You led Michigan State, man. How do you plan on leading the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as a rookie coming into the NFL? Well, first of all, I'm just going to come in and know exactly what I need to do, know my roles, know my positions, know everything that I need to know. That way I don't seem ignorant and try to show, tell somebody something, not know my stuff. So first I'm going to get everything that I can control under control. And after that, then I'll try to step out and maybe branch off and try to talk and be more vocal. So tell me, Will, what are some of the goals that you want to accomplish as a rookie coming into the NFL? My number one goal is defensive rookie of the year. Okay, man. Thank you so much. We're here with City Ballers. Can we get that movement phrase? If it ain't no city ballers, it ain't hidden. And we're going to take it all the way back. I know you probably don't remember, man. You had college, you had Southeastern, now it's the NFL. But let's go all the way back into your youth program, man. When you were playing for the West Side Eagles here in Detroit, Michigan. How was that? That was <laughs> character shaping. <laughs> it built a lot of character because I don't think we really won too many games with the Eagles. But they really showed you how to play football. And that's what I really appreciate about the coaches. And they came back every year and tried to show you how to play football. We didn't have the most players. We didn't have the best players. But everybody gave their all. And they didn't accept anything but your all. So. So I was actually reading an article the other day, and man, one thing about Will Ghost, man, you don't like to lose. And back then when you were in Powell, man, you were so mad, you were you were worked up and you were crying. And, the, and someone asked you, man, what's wrong with you? And you said, I don't like losing. So kind of elaborate and tell me about that, man. Is that still instilled into your heart you don't like losing? That is the worst feeling in the world to lose. Uh, I'm just a competitor all around. I've always been a competitor. I, I just can't. It doesn't settle well with me to lose, and I'll put it that way. Um, it's really frustrating, and yeah, it's been it was way worse when I was a kid. Now that I'm mature enough, I know how to handle it. But back then, I, like I said, it brought me to tears. Okay, man. Some of the kids out here actually at the Sound Mind Sound Body Count, man. You know, you have to learn how to lose and learn how to win. Most kids don't know how to do that. What are some words of motivation that you would tell a kid that don't know how to lose? That takes it so serious that he forgets about you know partnership and sportsmanship and things of that nature. Uh, those are two things that you you can't forget about because it's no me, it's, it's no me, it's no you. You you gotta uh, understand that. Let me let me rephrase that. It's it's about you, right? When you playing, it's about you. 
It's Y O U. Mm -hmm. The reason why you playing got a bigger, got to be bigger than you in there. So when you do it, it's a capital Y, it's lowercase O, and a lowercase U. And if you put the team before yourself, then you, I mean, you're gonna succeed anyway because you got goal, individual goals, and team goals. You may not win the game. That's the ultimate goal. But if you stop at all, if you check off all your individual goals and all your team goals, and you bond as brothers, which basically is what it is. This is a brotherhood that you put yourself into when you playing football, you know. And I mean, that's really that's the only way I can explain how to handle losing. Just know that you got goals and meet some of your goals. If you don't hit that ultimate goal, just think about the goals that you did hit and move on, move forward, and try to build. Okay, man. So tell me. If someone was to ask you who were Will Ghost, man, besides football, outside of football, what do you like to do? What's your hobbies? What do you do in your spare time? What would you sell them? I don't really got spare time, <laughs> but um, if I did have free time, the one thing that I would do is uh, I, like, I like to go to the movies or, you know, write, read a book. So, man, you're in the NFL, man. You got a busload of money coming your way. Just tell me, man, what are the top three things you're going to do first, man? Play, <laughs> play is first thing I'm gonna do. Uh, that's really all I'm focusing on. Make sure my son is okay and financially stable. And he has everything he needs, and and if have emergency money set up for him. But other than that, I don't really need much, you know. Okay, man, coming out of Detroit, Michigan, we're sitting here with Will Ghost, man, putting on for a city, going to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, leaving Michigan State University. Thank you so much. Everybody stay tuned for Dana White from Ghost of Part 3, Tampa Bay Edition. Yes, sir.